Hi everyone, it's Raquel Bowman here and today I'm here sharing a layout for Jot Magazine with you and this layout was for the gallery which was the Hello Gallery. So what I decided to do was I went back through my photos of my little man and I found this gorgeous one taken by Sugar Images here in Geelong of him when he was only a couple of weeks old and it's just so precious and I hadn't scrapbooked it yet. So the collection that I'm using is the amazing Little by Little collection by Chamel and American Crafts and I just had to have this collection when I saw it. I loved all of the icons that were quite, they're perfect for documenting these sorts of baby layouts. So in terms of my design, I knew I wanted to have that three by four cut apart card that said hello and then I wanted to build my title on from that. So I've met the gallery or the theme for this gallery and then what I decided to do was sort of work to the left of my page and sort of create some clusters on the layout, grounding the photo with a vertical strip or strips of pattern paper. So I've cut that yellow paper, I think it was about three inches or so wide. And then I use a cloud border strip as well down on that far side, just to bring in that blue that I've gathered from the embellishments. Before I started filming, I did gather together some embellishments that I thought might work. And you can see them on the layout now and to the top right of your the video um, and they're just ones that I thought had the blues the yellows anything that would work with this layout of Jack and then I just start building from there so I always go through my embellishments to sort of see what will work so I'm working on as I said a design sort of to the left of the page and doing a lot of layering and grouping around my photo and I've used mainly the ephemera pieces that I've gathered which are a couple of sort of larger style ticket pieces and then some of the stars so I thought I'd use that stars sort of theme I think it that's the sort of shape that fits perfectly with either gender but definitely for boy layouts and baby layouts. Um, so you can see here that I'm building those layers of those pieces that I was just talking about. So those couple of tickets, I'm just adhering directly behind the photo. There's that three by four card that I mentioned I wanted to sort of be the start of my title. And then the perfect day, so this, or perfect world. So this title is Hello Perfect World. And the perfect world is actually from that little flag that that bear is holding. And I thought that that just fits in nicely. Hello Perfect World, because with this little man in our lives, that's what it is now. So um, he, what am I up to? Sorry, I'm getting a bit distracted. So I added a little bit of your gold Heidi color shine to the background just to add a bit of uh, detail to that white area. And there is quite a lot of white in that bottom right corner. So I felt like it needed something there. I've popped a cluster sort of to the top right corner of the page and the reason I've done that is again when I talk about those visual triangles I just feel like instead of it all being really really embellishment heavy on that left side around the photo I feel like that just adds that bit of balance that I need and I also knew that I wanted to place my journaling underneath the bottom of the photo so that was going to weigh that side even more. That little tag is says something along the lines of believe in magic and I've used my crochet uh, thread just to tie a cute little bow and I'm going to adhere that underneath the photo. And then I fussy cut some clouds out from one of the pa pattern papers. They had sort of a blue and a green colouring to them. I've also layered underneath those clouds a yellow label which was from the sticker book. So with this collection, I did buy quite a lot of the bits and pieces. Um, I just, it was one of those collections that you see, there's a few um, definitely 
in that last sort of lot of releases that I had to <laughs> had to have, and that was one of them. The other one was Chasing Dreams by Crate Paper. I just really loved that one as well. So I found a sticker from Tim Holtz, I think it was, one of the Tim Holtz um, tiny word sort of packs, and it says, and so the adventure begins. And I thought that was pretty perfect for this layout. And it's certainly been an adventure ever since with this boy. He's beautiful and full of life. And what do we say as teachers when kids can be a bit of a handful? They're vibrant and full of energy. And that's certainly my little man. I know he's going to keep everyone on their toes wherever he goes. So here's the finished layout. As you can see, if you join all the clusters together, it does form that triangle that I talk about. Here's some close-ups. And I hope you've enjoyed this process. Don't forget to check out issue 18 of Jot Magazine, which is live on jotmagazine.com now. And I'll see you all soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.